it was just revealed that a Fallout TV series is being created in cooperation between Bethesda Game Studios, Amazon Studios, and produced by Kilter Films. The fact that Fallout is getting a series or even just a movie in any way, shape, or form would be big news, but I think this in particular is much larger news as the producers behind this one are Jonathan Nolan and Lisa Joy in Kilter Films overall. Kilter Films is responsible for both Westworld, where Jonathan Nolan and Lisa Joy are the showrunners, as well as Person of Interest, two highly regarded shows and actually a bit on the grittier side, in particular with Westworld. So this is big. It might actually be a very true to form Fallout series that delivers. So not a ton is known about this just yet. Based off this initial teaser that was posted, there isn't really much to infer, but a follow up article was posted on Bethesda.net that does clarify a bit more. The teaser may have some Easter eggs for us to pull out, but me going over this trying to do a breakdown, I literally couldn't find anything. And even further, the show's described as still being in pre-production, so it's not like there's really a ton to pull out of anything right now. They don't have a ton of footage they're sitting on. Although one thing that is important to clarify, even though this initial tweet slash teaser doesn't make it clear, this is a series. As on this post, it is described how it is currently in development with a series commitment. So we're getting a Fallout TV series, which is pretty insane. As far as some of the information we could pull out of this article, it described how the magic of the Fallout world is the harshness of the wasteland set against the previous generation's utopian idea of a better world through nuclear energy and how the series will be both serious and harsh in tone, but have sprinkled moments of iconic humor and B-movie nuclear fantasies. And based on that, it definitely seems like this will have gritty moments if you enjoy darker shows at times. It again is going to Amazon, so not like a cable TV station, as well as the producers behind this one are best known for producing Westworld. Which of course, if you've seen Westworld, there definitely are some dark or interesting futuristic tones, including nudity as well as gunfights and the like. And it seems like that could be one of the main reasons for this, as Todd Howard himself describes, it was clear from the moment I first spoke with Jonathan Nolan and Elisa Joy a few years ago that they and the team at Kilter were the right ones to do it. And you have to assume the reason they're the right ones is based off their past work. Also pretty interesting, we know that Todd Howard and Bethesda Game Studios are actively involved in this one. It's not totally clear what their role will be, but this is big news for Fallout. Although the show Person of Interest had a more modern setting, a lot of the other shows this company is producing, now with Kilter Films, do have a more futuristic setting, very similar to Fallout. Westworld, of course, is set in the near future at a crazy futuristic theme park, but, and somewhat spoilers here, the overall premise over the three season arc is the robots at the theme park gaining consciousness and what happens to society as a result. And actually, Westworld is probably my favorite show on television right now, so I'm extra hyped for this one. Although even outside of that, we do have something that's more in pre-production, which is also an interesting point here, that with the peripheral, it's just described as being set in the future when technology has subtly altered society. A woman discovers a secret connection to an alternate reality as well as a dark future of her own. So all of their active projects seem to be in this futuristic setting where something bad or something interesting is happening, which of course is Fallout. It is literally a post-apocalyptic future. Although that show is also described as being in more of a pre-production setting, and it seems like as far as this Fallout series, no scripts or anything like that have even been accepted by Amazon Studios yet. But considering the showrunners are working on not only one, but two pre-production projects, you have to imagine this is a ways away. Like not a 2020 release, and maybe not even a 2021 release, but 2022. Thus far, there's been no clarification or any discussion on a release date, but again, this is early works. It seems like they're still now trying to establish what exactly this show will be. Also, as far as a series description, it's not totally clear if that means like a limited series or a full-on series. I have to imagine with the Fallout franchise, and especially if this is successful, Amazon will be more than willing to throw money at things. That's kind of their thing. Outside of that, there's basically no other detail. So the rest of this video will more or less be speculation or inferences based off me religiously watching the past couple of seasons of Westworld. One of the very interesting things that I wonder about with this show is when it is. Not when it's going to come out, I mean, yeah, I want to know that, but even separately, when is this going to take 
place because there's really two very different avenues they could go with this. If you are in the wake of the apocalypse, that could create really interesting television. Are they exploring people right after the bombs dropped and how they're trying to rebuild or just survive? Or is it going to be exploring society a couple hundred years after the bombs dropped, as we've seen in most of the fallouts? Even Fallout 76, technically our role takes place 25 years later, which has given society quite a bit of time to build back up. There also is the big question as to where this will take place. Of course, Bethesda has almost exclusively focused on the East Coast, leaving the West Coast to some of those other studios. I'm sure once filming starts, we'll be able to get a very good idea on this. And actually a little fun fact around this, Todd Howard mentioned how he knew years ago that Lisa and Jonathan would be the right people to make this series. Well, you know what else happened over the past couple of years? Bethesda had a lawsuit around Westworld. And if you forgot, Lisa and Jonathan are the showrunners of Westworld. And this had nothing to do with the TV show. It was just a Westworld mobile game that was suspiciously similar to the Fallout Shelter mobile game. That all ended up getting resolved. It is now totally settled. But it is interesting to think that Todd Howard could have been talking to Lisa Joy and Jonathan Nolan right around the same time time, or at least while this lawsuit was active. I can't imagine that was an easy thing to discuss between the three of them. And overall, as far as the quality of Westworld goes, one of the interesting things about this series, as it is the latest work that we do have released from the showrunners, it was very much so one with a lot of depth, a lot of secrets and easter eggs for you to find, and a show that you used your brain while watching. And it'd be interesting to see how they could combine that with a Fallout series, as this of course is a world with a lot of depth, a lot of lore spanning 20 years. Actually, a little bit more than that, but in general, there's a lot they could do with Easter eggs and the like. But either way, I know I'm very, very excited for this one. It also does make you wonder, how far away is Fallout 5? I guess they could potentially just have some tie-ins between this TV show and Fallout 76, but if there is a considerable investment in this franchise, and they are making two other games before the next Fallout, it just seems odd. And I say that because I personally think Fallout 5 probably isn't coming till 2030, or at least that's my rough estimate in my head. We do have QuakeCon on the horizon, which Bethesda, of course, is hosting. It is a digital event, so perhaps we'll hear more about this just from an interview perspective. It's about a month away now, a little over. And you could definitely imagine Todd Howard coming out on stage and just talking broadly about the theme or direction they want to take this show, or perhaps even just the setting. They did mention on their QuakeCon teaser, they have a few fun little secrets, and maybe this is one of them. But the way, huge news for Bethesda and Fallout in general. I'm very excited to see how this pans out. Are we talking gritty like HBO or is it more made for television broadly appealing? I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. What do you think about this? I feel like it's one of those things a lot of us have been hoping for. We've had several high production value Fallout series on YouTube thus far, but nothing quite like this. Until next time, I hope to see you all later. Bye.